guys, my name's Craig from Magic TV at six o'clock. It's time for another Magic Live. Today I'm going to be performing one of my favourite Michael Close routines. Uh, Mike Close is an amazing magician, wrote the Workers series along with many other things. He's also a fantastic user of Memdex, which is what I'm using here. Uh, and it's a routine using casino cut cards. I've got Sarah behind the camera. Let's see if we can do this. How are you doing, Sarah? Are you okay? Yeah, hey. Hey, so do you know what a casino cut card is? It's just a size for casinos. Not really, no. It's these plastic cards here. Okay. And uh, the idea of them is uh, in casinos, if you're going to get someone to cut a pack of cards, what you'll do is they'll slide the card somewhere into the middle and you'll cut the cards where they uh, where they slide the casino cut card so that there's no way that people can, uh, can cheat, if that kind of makes sense. Right. Um, but we're going to try and do something here. I have two casino cut cards. I got these from a casino that, uh, that burnt down in America. Uh, I got them on eBay. And um, they allow me to do something pretty cool. Would you like to see what? Why not? We've got a red casino cut card and we have a, uh, a yellow one. Which one would you like to use first? Yellow. Yellow, okay. Do you want to put the red one over there? And um, we're going to try this. Can you name a card for me? Any card, any one of the 52 that you want is fine. Any. Um, oh gosh. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want to change your mind? I don't want you saying later on, I made you pick the eight of hearts. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, now here's the thing. Um, uh, I would like you to take this casino cut card, okay? And as I spread through, I'd like you to just push it into the pack any way you want it. Uh, it's completely up to you where. Just, just if you want to just push it in somewhere as I go through. doesn't matter where. Mm, there. Yeah, pop it in there. Right there. You happy? Yeah. Are you happy there, yeah? Yes. Okay, and you could have put any way you wanted to, right? Yeah. And you put it right there. Mm -hmm. I said this was a magical casino cut card. It really is. You see, you could have put it anywhere. You put it right next to this card right here. Right. And, and you could have put it anywhere. I mean, genuinely, but you put it next to this card. You're not going to believe this. What was the, what was the card that you said again? The Eight of Hearts. The Eight of Hearts. Check that out. You're, you're, like, a, you're like a wizard or something, oh, right? Is that what it me. is? Uh, well, you did really well, uh, but you, you, we did. I did point out that there are two casino cut cards. There's also a um, a red one. Right. We're gonna we're gonna use both of them together now. You see, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can take this to the next level and mm -hmm. see if we can go a little bit further. And we're gonna use two casino cut cards. Now, name a different card this time, Sarah. It's totally up to you which one. Uh, a different card. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, although I've uh, completely forgotten how to cut the pack of cards. Yeah, a different card. Any one of the fifty two is completely up to you. Uh, okay, um, Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades. Yes. Do you want to change your mind or are you happy with the Queen of Spades? No? You, you, don't, you don't want to change. You're more than happy. You're, you're, you're perfectly okay. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to try and do something here. Now, I want you to see that there's no, uh, there's no Queen of Spades on top. Okay? okay. I want you to see. Yeah, not even near the top. Yeah, uh, it, it's important that you see that. And also, okay. I want you to see uh, that there's no there's no Queen of Spades near the bottom. Right. Okay. Um, we're going to put the. Uh, do you want the yellow one at the bottom or the red one? I don't mind. You choose. I'll put, I'll put the yellow one. Thank you for giving me the choice. And uh, and on the top, I'm going to put the the red one. Okay. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. So you can see that you've got a casino cut card on on either side of the deck. Right. And somewhere in here, obviously, in, in between these, these two casino cups cards, somewhere is, is your, what was the card again? Queen of Spades? Yeah. Watch this. If I do that, what happens is one card gets caught in between the two casino cup cards. What was the card again? Queen of Spades. Was it be that one? It was. It's not bad, right? So weird. Have you ever done this sort of thing before? Or are you just like naturally awesome? Yes, I am. <laughs> you are naturally awesome. Um, look, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> We're going to try and do one more thing, okay? Mm -hmm. um, one more thing with the casino cut cards. And, uh, and, and uh, name one of the card. Name one of the card. Um, oh, I don't know. Uh, five yeah. of diamonds. Are you sure? Yes. That's a good choice. That's a good I, If I was going to pick a card, I would pick the five of diamonds as well. That's a, that's a, that's a good card to pick. Mm -hmm. um, we're, going to, we're going to try and do something here uh, with, with your card. Okay. okay, and what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to give the cards a few cuts just to make sure that they are all completely mixed up. And again, I want you to see that there's, uh, you know, it's not, it's not like that. I don't even remember the card to be perfectly honest, but it was the, uh, it was the five of diamonds or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to cut cards just any time you want to. Just say stop. Stop. 
There? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that card right there. Is that fair? Okay. So you can see that it's near the bottom. Yeah. And again, we'll put the red one near the top. So just say stop. Stop. There, near the top. So I want you to see. Can you see that on the screen, Sarah, that you've got a red one at the top and a, yeah, and a yellow great. one kind of at the bottom? Can you yeah. see that? Um, we're going to try and do this. What, I don't know how many cards are in between the two of them. There's, there's quite a lot. I don't know how many. But we're going to try and do this. Watch. If I just do this and twist, what happens is, look at this. The two cards come together in the middle. Right. Look at that. They actually come together. One's travelled down, one's travelled up. And they've caught one card and one card only right there in between them. What was the name of the card? It was the five of diamonds, yes. wasn't it? So if I got the four of diamonds, would that be good enough? No. You want the five of diamonds? Yes. Oh, that's the one I got, luckily. There you go. It's, uh, it's a fantastic routine. It really is. It's a wonderful use of the, uh, the mem deck. And as with a lot of Michael Close's routines, what is really nice with it is it leaves the mem deck in, in, in mem deck order, which is what you want, because now I'm instantly reset. All I have to do is give the deck a deck cut, and I'm reset again. So let me know what you think. Are you a Michael Close fan? What do you think of the routine? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back tomorrow with another Magic Live. I'll see you then. <laughs>